So this is my blusher drawer. Things are kind of organized by brand and then there's cream over here and we have powders over here and then I have a couple of face palettes. I still am undecided about what I'm going to do with multi-use face palettes. I have some palettes that have eyes and cheeks and stuff in and then I have stuff like this that is like multi-use cheek palette. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. I think I might leave that until the end of my decluttering series and figure out do I need a face palette drawer. I think that might be a good idea because I don't tend to get use out of face palettes because they're in palettes. I do tend to use single use blushes and stuff more. But anyway, um, I'm going to put this palette to the side. This is a NARS um, Pro palette, you know, that's got all the little pans that you pick out. This was actually made for me by Francois Nars uh, himself. So I guess one of his team picked out some shades for me and then when I met him and interviewed him, he signed it for me. So it's one of my most prized possessions. I love it. I would not get rid of this if you paid me. No, no, no. Oh my God, 2015, where has the time gone? This only has one highlight and the rest are blush so it can stay in the blush drawer. As I've done with my other videos, I'm going to clean out the whole drawer and put things back in by my favorites and then my ones I'm not so sure of and then lastly get rid of the ones that I just don't think I need. I don't know why but I find blusher really hard to get rid of. I really like owning sets of blusher but it has to go, it's just not being used. These inserts are from Kmart in Australia and this here is a kitchen for cutlery tidy thing. Really, really handy for blushers, bronzers, highlights, that kind of stuff. I quite like how I had things organized before with having creams over here and then you know, lining up all of the blushers here in similar shapes and in brand. So I think I'm going to stick to that again. So first popping in the stuff that I really don't want to get rid of. Clinique Chubby Stick in the shade Roly Poly Rosy. I use that a lot. One of my favorite blushes of all time is the Clinique Cheek Pop Blush in the shade Melon Pop. This is gorgeous. It is the perfect peachy pink that just suits every makeup look. I have two. Now I know I don't need to, but I feel like this is a blush I'm just going to keep on, keep on using. There's not a dent in either of them though. Okay, 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 I'm gonna keep one and give away one. I've always been obsessed with the Hourglass blush formula. This is a product as well that is really nostalgic for me. You might have heard me mention similar things in my eyeshadow um, decluttering where there's just certain products that remind me of how much I love makeup and to remind me to stay inspired. When I got these blushes, I literally went out of my way to get them. I really spent money on them that I had to think about spending and yeah, they're just really special to me so I wanna keep those for sure. Okay, so I think these are all the NARS blushes I have right now. Knowing my look, I'll probably find more. I definitely have more in face palettes, um, not just the face palette I already showed you, but in some other ones. But these are more like the single ones that are here. I definitely wanna keep Orgasm. This is the newer packaging and everything. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous blusher. Pop it in there for now. I'm going to rearrange the blushers as I go when I know what fits where. These are from a very new NARS collection, the Erdem collection. We have Loves Me and Loves Me Not. Oh, I love that. That's so cute. See, this is the thing that gets me with blusher. Like, now I want to keep them together because it says, He loves me, he loves me not. This is a beautiful, like, kind of deeper peachy pink. It almost reminds me of Orgasm, but like, kind of deeper and it's got a shimmer to it. And then we have this really pale shade. It would be really nice on fair skin or as like a blush topper. Do I want to keep them both? Hmm. This is a very nothing kind of shade. I can't see myself reaching for this because it's pretty, but like if I was going to do a blush topper, I'd probably do a highlight, you know? So, okay, let's get rid of that one. This is super beautiful though. I think I'm going to keep that one. It's limited edition and I do love my limited edition NARS stuff. Okay, so we have a palette here. I haven't touched this. This is the NARS Sarah Moon palette. I really like this. Reoccurring Dare, it's called. We have Albatross Highlighter in here, which I do already have. 
and the blushes are Sex Appeal, Elusive and Make Believe. This is Goldshun, the colour. I'm actually going to pop this out of here and put it in with the rest of my NARS lip pencils because I actually collect these. I love them. And in terms of keeping this blush palette, I just love NARS. I don't want to let it go. I'm going to keep it. NARS just has my heart. So we have Impassioned, we have Isadora, and we have Fresh Soul. Fresh Soul is beautiful. It's kind of like orgasm, but lighter. I want to keep that. Isadora is very dark. I think this would suit one of my darker skinned friends better. I just can't see myself wearing it. If I want a kind of a darker blushy look, I'll usually wear bronzer and blush. So I'm going to get rid of that. And to be honest, I haven't reached for Impassioned in ages. So I'm going to get rid of that. Seeing that I do have the NARS blush, custom blush palettes and everything as well. It just doesn't make sense to keep everything. Oh, this is so gorgeous though. Really nice. Okay, I'm not sure about that one. I'm gonna keep that for a minute, but Impassioned is gonna go. Next we have some Bobbi products. This is a limited edition illuminating bronzer in the shade Maui. I don't know why that's considered a bronzer. It's definitely a blush to me. Then we have Santa Barbara. This is also marketed as a bronzer. It's the Santa Barbara one. I know you could probably put this in more bronzy positions than other blushes. I think maybe that's what they mean. But um, I keep it in my blush drawer. They're the very same. This one's limited edition. So I'll get rid of that and I'll keep this one. This is the Illuminating Bronzing Powder in the shade Santa Barbara. This is Santa Barbara. Why is this one? got the really nice press on the top and this one hasn't. This was definitely a limited edition collection or something, but it's the same bronzer. Why do I like this one better? Because it has the stamp on it. <laughs> That's so redundant, but I do like it better because of that. This is really hard. <laughs> Which one do I get rid of? Like they're the exact same. It is literally the same blush. I'll just keep the normal one and get rid of that one. <laughs> that was like, why was that hard? I feel so silly. Okay, now we have all of these Tarte blushers. I've always loved my Tarte blushers. They're the Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blushes. You can see I have so many of them, but they're just simply not getting used. Yeah, I need to get rid of a few, so I'm just gonna open up all of them. Some of them haven't been used at all. That's a lot of blushers. That's more blusher than anyone needs in their whole life. Ridiculous. Okay, I'm gonna just cull this really quickly. This. This is more of like a bronzer for when you're really pale. I might put that in my bronzer drawer. This is just too light, I wouldn't use it. This is also like a contour or a bronzer. So we have Risqué and Exposed. If you're an old school watcher of mine, you'll know I used to use Exposed all the time, but I haven't reached for it in ages, it's gonna go. Risqué is very similar to it. I might keep that one, it's a really nice matte bronzy blush. This was also one of my favorites. Tipsy was, oh, I love the shade, but it looks like it's gone off. It's kind of sealed over. So get rid of that one. These purpley shades, I definitely don't need two. We have Doll Face and Flush. They're not something that I would use. They look very similar. They actually look more different in camera than they do in my hand. I definitely don't need two. I'm gonna get rid of the really purpley one. There's no way I would really reach for that. We're comparing the real similar ones now. These are really nice shades. What have we got? We have Fearless, Blissful, and Natural Beauty. I really like this kind of shade here. And then we have Blissful and Fearless. They're very similar though, aren't they? Maybe keep, keep Fearless, get rid of Blissful. Realistically, I'm not gonna wear this one. I'm gonna get rid of that one too. So then we have this peachy color is really, really pretty. It's called Captivating. Yeah, that's gorgeous. It's, it's different to the others. It's very peachy. And we have this light shade, which is got a shimmer to it. It's kind of similar to, it's like a more peachy version of Orgasm or something. That's peaceful. I like that one too. And the other three just aren't really jumping out at me, so I'm going to get rid of these three. So all of these blushers are going and I'm keeping peaceful, captivating, fearless, natural beauty, and risque. Yes, it's so good. 
more Clinique blush. These are Innocent Peach and a Glow. So pretty. I just don't reach for them enough to keep both. I think I'll keep Innocent Peach and get rid of a Glow. Okay, now we have the Benefit Box Blushes. Oh, these aren't going to stay open, are they? Straight off the bat, I'm going to get rid of Dandelion because I just never reach for this. And it's gorgeous on pale skin, yeah, but I just don't reach for it enough. You can see Coralista is well loved by me. I probably should keep this. Also, Rocketeur and California are really well loved by me. This is a really muted, shimmery shade. This is a very poppy, curly color. Um, really like both of those. Coralista and California. I thought they were more similar, but no, this is more peach, this is more pink. I'm going to keep those three. See, the thing that bothers me here is I've always loved having sets of things. I love owning the entire range, but I just need to get over that. I don't think I've ever reached for Hervana. It's too purpley for me, so going to get rid of that one. And Rocketeur, or no, sorry, Dallas. This is a beautiful kind of like bronzy blush, but there's just no point in keeping it. I'm not going to reach for it with the amount of bronzers that I do use. From Becca, we have the champagne splits. So it's got like the highlighter and the blush in them. This is when Jacqueline did her collection. Um, this is Prosecco Pop and Amaretto. I love these duos. They're incredible. Like the color selections are amazing. You can see this one is really well loved by me. And um, they're great for traveling. That is Flower Child and Champagne Pop. That's my favorite one, so I'm just gonna keep that straight off the back. I love all of it. You know what, I'm gonna keep them all. They're just beautiful. And this is a really unique blush. It's kind of like a tan blush. I really like it. So good for traveling too. I've given away quite a few of these already. They're the Marc Jacobs Air Blushes. These are the last few I have, so I don't know if I'm going to get rid of any of these, but let's have a look and see. I had the whole collection, so these are what's left. Wow, okay, yeah, I did keep very different ones. Hmm, I'm going to keep them all. They're such an incredible blush. I really like them. Marc Jacobs products really are getting me lately. I love so many of his products. More from Hourglass. I really like this blush palette. We have Luminous Flush Incandescent Electra. And mood exposure in there. Hmm, are they the ones I already have though? Radiant Magenta and Incandescent Electra. Okay, I have one of them in there. Incandescent Electra was um, limited edition for a while as well. I was like, oh, I need this. <laughs> we have a Too Faced blusher here. This is the Sweetheart's Perfect Flush Blush. I really like this one. It's very shimmery, but when you use it right, it's great. I also have this cream blush from Dolce & Gabbana. This is the creamy face color in the shade Rosa Carina. This is such a gorgeous formula. I love. This is the exact kind of color I go for when it comes to uh, cream blushes. And this also has kind of like a powder finish, so it really will set into the skin. I love this. I'm definitely gonna give that more of a use now that I remember it's there. A Dior blush in the shade Rose Sublime. This is really pretty. It's like a nice deeper shade with a shimmer to it. I'm going to keep that. These are brand new from Maybelline. They're the Dream Matte Blushes. I haven't opened this one yet, so I'm going to keep that one. I'm going to try that, but I have used this one and I really like it. It's quite pink, but it's such a nice formula. I really like this. I wear it on very no makeup makeup days. Gorgeous. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic Swish and Pop Blusher in the shade Ecstasy. I really like this shade. I don't reach for it enough. I definitely need to make more of an effort to use it now that I've remembered it's there. Doesn't it look like a nipple? <laughs> we have Guerlain. This is the Meteorites blush in the shade Happy Glow. Is it Happy Glow? Yeah. I think that is so gorgeous. Gonna keep that. This is an Elizabeth Arden Cool Glow Cheek Tint. I love cheek tints and you can use them on the lips as well. This one I haven't tried. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, that's pretty, isn't it? I'm getting it everywhere, but yeah, that's pretty. I'm gonna keep that and give it a go. It's got a really nice texture. Some more Bobbi Brown. We have the Blush Duo with Plum and French Pink in it. We have Pale Pink in just the single. Really unique, vibrant shade when you use this very sparingly. It looks 
balm on the skin. And I also have the Pot Rouge for lips and cheeks. This is the shade Uber Beige. I also had another shade of this. Where is it? I cannot spot it right now. It's probably like in one of my handbags. Um, this is one of my favorite Bobbi products of all time. It's a really gorgeous nude shade. It's kind of gone off now. The shade doesn't look quite right. You can use it on lips and cheeks. I used it so much, but I think it actually needs to go in the bin. I need to repurchase that. It's like one of my favorite products ever. You just throw this on, lips, cheeks, ready to go. We have the Guerlain Meteorites Pearls Carousel. This is considered more of a powder, I think. Oh no, this is the blush one. I have not used this. It smells like old school kind of vintage makeup. I haven't used this much, but I'm gonna try. It's just so beautiful. Really don't wanna give that away. Where will we put you? Put you back there for a minute. Okay, so I'm gonna keep all these Bobbi blushes as well. They're just great. This blush is from Burberry. This is the London with Love. I remember this. I haven't used it in ages, but I do really like it. I also love the bronzer that went with this. I used it so much. I want to keep that. I feel like I can see what happened here the last time I cleaned out all of my designer blushes. I allowed myself to keep like one Dior, maybe one Guerlain, you know, one Burberry. So I've done a pretty good declutter of the luxury ones already, I think. I haven't used this yet. This is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Peachy Keen Blush. The Gen Nude uh, collection came out ages ago. I don't know how I've missed using this, but this is a beautiful peach. It reminds me of MAC peaches, but like slightly darker. I'm gonna keep that one, I wanna use it. This is a MAC powder blush in the shade What I Fancy. I used to have so many MAC blushes, where are they all? I think they must have gotten old and I got rid of them because I had so many, like my favorite blushes were Melba and Peaches. They were my absolute faves. And this seems to be all I have left. We have Hushed Tone Extra Dimension Blush, which could you imagine that on a darker skin or as like a bronzer topper? Oh, child! Powder blush, what I fancy. It's a pretty pink, but like, do I have something like it? I'll keep it just because I don't have much MAC left, and I kind of feel sad about that. I really loved MAC blushers. We have the Zoeva palettes here. Coral Spectrum. Oh, I'm getting blusher all over my nails and hands. And then we have Nude Spectrum. Straight off the bat, I can see that I'm not going to use the Nude Spectrum. Whether it's as a bronzer topper or a dark or highlight, I just can't see myself using that one. I've used it a couple of times and it's not been wowed, but the Coral Spectrum I will keep. This would be great for traveling. We have these L'Oreal Blush Sculpt Trio Contouring Blush and Highlight Trios. I would just use these straight up as blush and highlight. I wouldn't use them as contour at all. Um, this one is quite tan. Yeah, it's very orangey. I might give this one up because unless I'm really tanned, I'm not going to reach for it. And with drugstore stuff, you know, I can always repurchase if I want. And keep the pinky one. I do love drugstore blush, so I like to have it, some on hand for sure. I prefer these L'Oreal blushes. These are the Le Blushes in shade 90, Luminous Rose, and 165, Rosy Cheeks. They're just great drugstore products. Another Ciate blush. This is so gorgeous, but I'm just not going to reach for it. Now, a lot of bourgeois blushes. You guys know I love bourgeois. I love their lipsticks, I love their foundation, and their blusher is sick too. What do I want to keep here? Pretty much all of it, but let's see. So this is the blush that's in here. This is the blush that's in here. But we do love the contouring duos. I wonder if I could keep the contouring duo and get rid of the singles. That would be an idea. It doesn't actually say that these are the blushes in there on the packet, but I'm pretty sure they are. Uh, we have the shimmers and the mattes. I think I've already decluttered a few of these. These are beautiful mattes for the drugstore. Look at those. They're so nice. We have R Radiant Rose and Rose Amber. I like this one the best, but I'm going to keep both. Because you just don't get really nice matte products in the drugstore often. Everything has shimmer in it. Even though shimmer is great, of course. <laughs> so I'm going to keep the Duo Le Blushes and get rid of the corresponding blushes that look the same. And then we just have this single blush here that's a great dupe for orgasm from NARS. Golden Lilac. I have this cream cheek palette from Tarte. I really like these shades, but I wouldn't really reach for the rest. 
especially not like this dark one. Oh well, actually quite a nice lip stain. I do really like that shade. Okay, I'll keep it. I do love my cream brush. No, actually, it's going because that's exactly the attitude I don't want. Like, oh, I'll just keep it. No, that's why I've ended up with such a huge makeup collection that I can't organize. This is going. We have a Mecca Max blusher. I haven't actually gotten around to using this yet. Cheek Chic Blush in the shade Pink Pop. I'll keep that. We have some mini NARS creams. We have Orgasm. Gorgeous. Definitely keep that. And we have... Remember Me, which is more peach. We'll definitely keep that. I have the By Terry Glow Expert Duo Sticks. Terra Rose, which is an illuminate, illuminator and blush combo. I really like that one, I'll keep that. By Terry has some fabulous formulas. I think they're quite underrated. And then we have this one, which is super bright. You see, I haven't used it yet. In Pe Peachy Petal. I think I'll give that one off because I'm just not going to reach for it. I have the Clinique Fit Lip and Cheek Flush. I must actually just leave this in my gym bag because I use this so much for the gym, whether it's, you know, I'm just having a crappy day and I want to look like I'm more alive in the lip and cheek. It's just so nice and it doesn't go anywhere. It's an actual tint. I love that. I love all of the Clinique fit products. Actually the mascara and the tint are my faves though. I have this Fenty matchstick in here in the shade Trippin. This looks more like a highlight though. Oh I see why I put it in this drawer because it does have that peachy shade to it. I'm gonna put it in my cream highlight drawer. Another drawer that I need to tidy out <laughs> as you can see. Oh wrong one. So let's organize these a little bit better now. Look at all this room I have. It's so nice. Oh, where did that come from? I'm pretty happy with how that's laid out now. I know the drawer still looks really full, but I have gotten rid of so many. All of these blushes are going to new homes. I'm really excited to give them away. Blush is one of my favorite products. I think I say that about every drawer actually. Um, I just really love blush and I think there's so much, I know there's something luxurious about blush. I really like it. I'm so excited to have this drawer more accessible and I can appreciate each shade more now. Really, really pleased with that. Okay, thank you so much for watching guys. I'll talk to you again soon.